There is a feature in Google Photos where you can archive photos. Now these might be photos that you don't want to see in your main photo library, or they could be screenshots or just images that are random that really don't belong in the main photo library. So I've got some screenshots here of um, my Apple iPad that I really don't want to have in my main photo library. I want to archive them and I also want to create an album of these screenshots. I'm using Google Photos on the web and I'll also show you how to find the archive feature using a phone. So up in the menu up here, if you click here to get you to the menu, there is an archive feature. And this is where all the archive photos that you select from your photos will be stored. They're stored according to the date that the image was taken. So if I, if I was to archive something that I took several days ago, it would appear in that date, not in today's date. And you can do the same with an archive photo that you can do with any normal photo. You've got the same options up here in the menu. You can even create an album of archived images. They just don't appear in your photos. So we go back through all the menus and into photos. I don't want to see all of these types of things, these screen captures. So I'm going to select all of Saturday, April 28th, because there's screen captures throughout all of that. And any more that I can find, browse through the library. So there's some in the April 14. I can also archive images such as my flu jab booking that I really don't want to keep in my photos album. Click the individual ones because I don't want to archive the photos of the dog. And once you've selected all your photos, it tells you how many you've selected. And then you click the plus. Then you click the three dots on the right here and archive. And they will disappear from your photos library. And if I go over to the archive, They're archived according to the date that they were taken, the date that they've been uploaded to Google Photos. If I want to get a photo out of the archive back into Google Photos, it's simply a matter of selecting it, or I could select the entire day, and then back into the three dots and unarchive. And this photo will go back into September 25th, 2017. And if I go back into photos into S September 2017 there's the photo September the 25th 2017 so it's back in its rightful place in in the photo library if you want to create an album of some of your archive images you can do that in the same way as you would create a normal Google Photos album so if I want to create a, an album of these shots here which are wallpapers for my iPhone then I'll select that day because they're all in that one day and then add to album a new album and let's call it archived wallpapers accept the changes and then go back to albums and somewhere here, archive wallpapers, they are, they are. So I can find them easily amongst my vast collection of archived images. And go back just into the archive because there are, if you look at the, the dates over here, there are a lot of archived images, mostly screenshots of TV shows. The longer you keep archiving things, the harder it is to find something. Now to do this process on a mobile device, I've got an iPhone and I'll show you. This is how you would do it on a mobile device. I've got my iPhone and I'm going to open Google Photos. In the photo section, looking for the same photos to archive. Select the photos. I'm going to select the whole day. And then the dots at the top menu and archive. To check it, go to the menu, select archive, and in the same date of those images, you'll find the images. That's where they are there. Same process to put them back, unarchive them, select these two, 
menu at the top and unarchive. And they should be in September 2017. If in the process of archiving your photos you decide that some of them should be trashed, then just simply select and trash. And then delete, which I won't do.